Today we're going to be jumping into a little bit more Hogwarts Legacy and I'm going to be going over Merlin Trolls, everything you need to know in order to complete all of them easy. That's coming up next. Now there's a lot to do in Hogwarts Legacy, sometimes you may get caught up and not know exactly what to do in order to progress. These are not mandatory but I would say Merlin Trolls are something you're definitely going to want to look at. As you can see they're going to be the leaf symbol on your map and if we jump straight over to our challenges the main reason you're going to want to be doing this apart from the XP you get when you're completing them is going to be because they're the only source you get in the game with being able to upgrade your inventory space. Every time you complete these challenges you're going to tick these off and with each tier you complete once you collect them your inventory space is going to go up by 4. This is going to help you massively and mean you won't have to deconstruct as much stuff, losing out on the money you could have sold it for. Now very early on in your adventure you're going to meet this lady just here, Nora Treadwell, and she's going to tell you all about Merlin Trials, and of course introduce you to the very first kind that you can do, and that's going to be the one with the Stone Torches. The Stone Torches one is quite a nice easy one to start off with, and it shows you exactly what you've got to do with these Merlin Trials in general. Every single one of them is going to be activated by these stone platforms and you're going to need Mallow Sweet in order to activate them. Now there's an awful lot of these trolls, over 90 dotted around the world with 9 different varieties. This first one's going to involve you hitting these braziers on top of these pylons in order to ignite them. You're going to want to use the spell Incendio early on and either Incendio or Confringo later on in the game. Bear in mind these are timer based, they do start to go down so you've got to hit all of them in a row before they make it to a certain level in order to complete this first trial. Once that's done it's going to complete and you can move on to the next activity. The next one is going to be the moth puzzle. Depending on where you are in the game you may have actually done a main quest with this, if you haven't then this one could be a bit tricky. Remember to always use Revelio whenever you can during these trials as it's going to make your life a whole bunch easier with spotting all of the things that are dotted around as sometimes they can be quite a distance. When you see these stones with crystals inside them, then I would say it's really in your best interest to probably change it over to the night cycle. So go into your map and then wait. This is going to make things much easier as you'll be able to spot the moths a little bit clearer. As they're glowing like these ones just here. Lumos is going to be the spell you want to grab for this and then just guide them back to the stones. Do this a few times over and you'll complete this trial. Next up and we've got the stone pillars. One of the nice and easy ones, you haven't got to worry too much about these, all you've got to do is locate them all which sometimes can be the trickiest thing. So again use Revelio, scout out the area and then make your way towards these stones right here. I tried an awful lot of spells on these and my standard attack, nothing could break them, the only one I found currently is going to be Confringo. So you're going to use that, smash as many as you can find. If they're too far off and you just can't seem to find them at all, don't forget you can always use your broomstick and go into the air and then use Rebellio. Upon breaking the last one, you'll have the solution to this Merlin trial. Next up, and we've got broken statues. Another quite easy one, all you gotta do, make your way over to what looks like something crumbled. This one is just going to need your spell, Repero. You're gonna use this a few times over, this is going to repair the statues. Once the last one's done, that's going to complete that Merlin trial. Jumping over to something you either love or hate, I am absolutely awful at these usually, but these ones weren't too bad most times. Rather than all the things we've been doing before, you don't have to worry about your spells for this. It's all about agility and just making sure that you can make it onto the platforms. You're going to want to make sure that you jump onto each platform and you've got to complete a kind of small assault course in order to complete the trial. So like I'm doing here, just make sure you do all the jumps onto the stones that look a little bit like Stonehenge. Some of these puzzles can be a little bit tricky and you may have to shoot some of the boxes and other debris out of the way. I've already broken some boxes on this one so I can jump straight across to the next part. Just make sure you're jumping onto each one of these stones and eventually you'll make it to the end and complete this trial quite easy. Jumping across to the next one and we have the dice puzzle. 
this one isn't anywhere near as hard as you'd think you look at it and you think it's going to take a bit of brain power but ultimately it's quite easy to complete all you got to do is make sure that the symbols match up what you're going to need to do is make sure you've got flipendo and then you're going to be able to rotate these as long as the first one matches go on to the second one match that one up as well and pretty much all of the four sides are done Do this a few times over, it doesn't matter how many times you do it, as you saw there I went completely past, as long as you're matching up the symbols, you're pretty much golden. Over to the next one and we have the multi stone balls. This one reminds me a little bit of bowling or bowls, as soon as you see this on the floor with the holes in it, you'll know it's going to be this puzzle. From here you're just going to grab these balls, you're going to need to use the Accio spell in order to bring them back and slot them in the right place. Don't do what I did and grab an enemy instead as it's going to make your life a whole bunch harder. But as long as you're keeping hold of them, you can drag them over and put them on pretty easy. Again, you're going to have to scout around, find a few more of these. Once you've done them all, it's going to complete that Merlin trial. Over to one of the more fun ones and that's going to be the boulder puzzle. As soon as you see this absolutely huge boulder right here, you're going to need to try and get it to the very end of a small course. Sometimes it can be easy, sometimes it can be a little bit trickier, but what you can do is use the pulso and knock it down a trail and hopefully land it into the hole. If not, you may have to guide it back in. Now the Pulso is very good and I think it might be the way you're supposed to do this but I did find later on I was able to kind of cheese it a little bit and use Wing Guardian Levioso. With this you don't have to worry about the course too much, you kind of just pick it up, guide it exactly where it's got to go and it does make things a whole bunch easier. So if you've got this spell, this will probably be the one you want to use if you find this Merlin trial. Last but definitely not least, but definitely one of the easiest, is going to be breaking the orbs. With this, don't worry too much about spells, just use your standard attack. You're going to be able to break these from a distance, but they can be quite a ways away and sometimes seem to be a little bit hidden. So scout around the areas, and like I said earlier, if you need to jump on your broomstick, then do that as well. But upon finding and breaking all of them, you're going to complete that trial as well and that's going to be the final one you need to know about. There's an absolute abundance of these dotted around, over 90 in total, but now at least you know how to complete them all. Hopefully that's helped a few of you guys and girls out, there'll be a lot more gaming content from me. As always, take care, I'll see you on the next day.